Hello. Hey, Suzanne. Can you hear me? Yes, it's perfect. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk about um, a glimpse I had yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I don't even have a question to it. Maybe I just need a little guidance from you. Um, yesterday, I had a day where a lot of emotions arise, very intense emotions the whole day. And I was feeling into them and a lot of crying happened. And then at night, I was brushing my teeth in front of the mirror and I just disappeared. And it just happened spontaneously. I wasn't thinking about having a glimpse or something just happened. And it was just looking, seeing a body, seeing all these things like the toothbrush and all of that. But then a thought popped up and was like, there is no thought. Because in this moment, there, was, there were no thoughts. It was just stillness and no person. It was very strange. But when the thought popped up, then another thought followed. Oh, this is, this is weird. And then another thought popped up. And it was like a domino effect. And then I went to the shower and I started panicking. And then, <laughs> because I, I was just like, it's very hard to describe it in words, but it was just showering but no one was showering mm. and because so many thoughts were coming but i was still like not there in a way i started panicking and then i felt like stuck like stuck in something and then i went to sleep <laughs> because it was too much for me but um yeah i was over overwhelmed but but today, um, it, it left me with a fear here. And um, yeah, I feel it the whole day now. And yeah, just maybe you can say something. Sure, yeah. About it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's understandable that it would be fearful because it's so, it can be very different from how it normally is. But that is, that is how it is. It's like there is there is just this neutral, impersonal witnessing that is there, you know, body's there. It can see the body. Showering happens. Movement happens. Thought happens. Feelings happen. And there's just no one in the body. Yeah. So that is really how it is. And it's it needs to kind of get accustomed to that because it's it's basically the absence of this ownership that felt like it was in control of the body the thoughts the emotions so it's understandable that it would feel the fear like that fear would yeah. come up to try and take control again mm. so you can just feel into it you feel it right now yeah yeah what does it feel like? Feels like it's very tight, very contracted, exactly here. Oh, okay. It's like a tiny ball, like really yeah. dense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you could just put your attention right into it. Let your whole body relax. Just give it complete space. It's arising in this complete emptiness. And all it is is dense energy. It's not yours. It's coming from life. So right now, life is holding that. That fear was never separate from life. 
that fear could never really be hurt from life. Because life always just is. Never changes, never moves, never goes, never comes. It's unmoving. How does it feel now? Better. Yeah. More relaxed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Does a does like a narrative come with it or not really? It's always the fear of losing control, even though I know there is no control. I know it intellectually. But even in the past, I was struggling with a lot of panic attacks, and this is also about losing control and. This, this pattern is something I struggled many, many times. And yeah, this was something I experienced in the shower when I felt like after all these thoughts popping up, I felt stuck and be like, oh, shit, I'm stuck. I don't have any control of it. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's the sense of control. It does have a really different energy to it so it and the emptiness is just purely empty it's so neutral it has no quality or consistency no characteristic so like it is a very stark difference you know and there there is kind of an adjustment that happens your body needs to get accustomed to coming in and out of that like having some control and then melting back into <laughs> neutrality. <laughs> and it will just keep doing this until it sees that it's actually safe. It's There's nothing to be afraid of. It's like life completely takes care of itself. It really truly does. And the body is so intelligent. It's already doing everything on its own but that that sense just really is convinced that it's doing everything and without it everything would just fall apart yeah but it it really won't <laughs> but if it does come up strong you know and the sense of like stuckness and fear comes like let it be there because it's understandable that its whole life it was there and it wasn't threatened. It was never confronted to this extent. So it's understandable that it will fight. It will say no. And yeah, that that is just what it's gonna say. But know that it's it's it just doesn't know. It can never know that. it is actually in the way of life. It is fighting against life. And it's illusory. It's not, it's not actually true, you know? Yes. Yeah, there is an adjustment in the body. Like I noticed that, um, Like different thoughts would come up like, oh yeah, there's no control. I might as well just, you know, like not take responsibility or like it would also just go to extremes and stuff like that. But even that's not true. It's not that you need to completely just let go of everything. That's, that's the sense that wants to be in control of not being in control, if that makes sense. Like, it wants to make sense of this boundlessness. Yeah. It's trying to understand it. It's trying mm. to uh, mimic it in a way. Yeah. This is what I sense in the shower too. It yeah. was seen very clearly. 
but then the fear um, was too strong. Mm -hmm. I was pulled into it after a while. Yeah. Like, it's hard to describe it in words because it sounds so dualistic, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can only describe it in yeah, yeah, dualistic terms, but yeah. But every time that this does happen, it does, if you kind of see it for what it is, like it really is your body getting accustomed to mm -hmm. this openness. It's getting a glimpse, it's getting a taste, and mm -hmm. it's a good thing. This is how it's kind of getting accustomed to how the natural reality is. And I can also say the glimpse is, is more extreme than when this really settles in the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I have a sense that you have quite intense glimpses that are like, whoa, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like, like yesterday was intense. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Because so, it was so weird to look in the mirror and then it was just nothing. Mm -hmm. Just uh, it was like looking at the picture. Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was very strange. That is how it but is. It, but since any thought came up, it was peaceful. Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. But then when it was um, um, seen so clear that when the thought, when the first thought popped up, it changed, like something changed. Then another thought and another thought and... Yeah. 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 And then I was there again, like, hello. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually how it is. It, it sort of, it can leave a mark in the body somehow. But you can sense that there is a difference once once there is a little identification with the the mm -hmm. thought that naturally happens. Yeah. Then yeah, there is this this difference that you can sense. Um, but it can lighten the intensity in the identification with the thoughts, at least for a while, mm -hmm. because your system is like you see the unreality of it that it's not owned by anyone that it's coming from nothing mm -hmm. and yeah. the body too like it's not your body but mm -hmm. the whole lifetime you've associated it as mine mm -hmm. there's a familiarity but in the glimpse it's so neutral you don't yeah, yeah. Mm. it's not even it's not a recognizable body it's just another body yes yes this is what shook me because yeah yeah, yeah it's shocking it's just, yeah. yeah and in the shower looking at the body like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> who is this <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah mm. you know i've also noticed that um this was really gradual for me, but I couldn't make sense of the human body anymore. Mm. It looked it looked very weird. I wasn't physically attracted to it anymore. <laughs> and it looked more like an alien, as if like, <laughs> as if like we were the aliens. But we always think that an alien that looks like a um stereotypical foreign form or whatever is that but I could see how if that existed they would look at us like yeah what is that <laughs> yeah yeah but have you experienced fear um when you had these thoughts or was it okay with you? it was quite gradual here so like I just noticed subtle things were falling away like I don't find people attractive anymore mm -hmm. I don't know why the body looks that way I don't know it didn't look normal anymore because it wasn't like instilled here that this is like the human race is norm it just felt like 
it's it's another living organism and it wasn't my species anymore it wasn't like the most important thing or something like that it was so equal from everything else like the animals the aliens like we weren't more more the way the body looks that wasn't the norm anymore it was just another living organism <laughs> Yeah, it yeah, looked funny. Yeah. Really, it looked funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure, yeah. yeah, it can be shocking at times like that because mm -hmm. what you think is the norm is going to be challenged. Like, whoa, yeah. this is different. And then the mind will, will, um, really try to want to go back to how you felt before. Mm -hmm. But if the shifts happen, like you've, yeah, things are just like looking different, looking weird, like it's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much for sharing. Mm -hmm.